Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Really, since yesterday afternoon, the sky has been speaking to us. It's been a perfect classic example of what you expect when a cold front comes through. You've got uh, some of those higher clouds that rolled on in last night, and then they started to gradually thicken overnight, then started to get some of that rain and precipitation here. And now it almost looks like there's some striations in the sky, some lines there you can kind of see. That's those clouds continuing to advance as the cold front comes on through. We're at 52 now in Champaign. We were earlier in the upper 50s out there. We'll have a northwest wind in place, and that is the sign that the front has arrived. And with that, then, we'll probably hold steady. Maybe see temperatures drop a little bit here throughout the day. Uh, there we are, 49 in Springfield, 47 in Jacksonville. We're at 51 in Pontiac, still 59 in Mattoon and in Effingham. That front will work its way from northwest to southeast during the morning. And overall, we do anticipate that it will bring cooler air in. What may help us get to uh, stay maybe a little milder is if we get some sunshine here late morning into the afternoon behind that front. That may be enough to help warm the air up a bit and keep us there. If not, though, might see those temperatures drop down to the 40s pretty quickly. If we do stay mild, then we get to sunset, and that's when temperature really will start to tumble here. Uh, yeah, that's a number, 50. Woohoo! <laughs> We've already been there. Just expect things to uh, hold steady and drop through the next couple of hours here. We'll see how it ends up. A uh, little sunshine keeps us maybe in the 50s. Otherwise, those 40s are coming and will quickly drop even into the 30s here before bedtime tonight. Future track temperatures has been showing this front coming through. It's right here at 1 o'clock, long I-70. But you notice it's still 55 in Springfield behind that. 46 in Davenport. That sunshine may be enough to help warm things up and delay just by a few hours that cold air. Uh, but we'll see those 40s arriving pretty quickly and overnight tonight, then heading down to the 30s. We'll finish up tomorrow morning in the 20s. Still got some 50s on the board for tomorrow, though. It's not a big cold front that uh, does a lot for us, but it is a stair step in the direction with uh, more cold air, even chillier heading into next week. If you got weekend plans, Saturday looks great here. Sunday, clouds will increase, but will be dry. 50s for highs, the lows in the 20s and 30s out there. And uh, with the next system coming even early next week, it doesn't look like it's going to be a big washout for us. We'll at least get some rain, some mist and drizzle. That's the front that just came on through. This next one, there are still some question marks with the timing of it Monday to Tuesday and how it evolves here. There will be some moisture that surges north. A low pressure will pass by somewhere in the area. We'll probably find ourselves on the north side of it, which might keep us a little drier. You see all that rain. Southern Illinois, southern Indiana, Kentucky, places like that into the eastern seaboard going to get a lot of rain from that. This is what comes afterwards, though. The cold air into our region. Our Thanksgiving forecast, brr, 35 for a high. It'll be chilly and dry. Don't expect any problems before the weekend. By the following weekend, though, if we happen to get a storm system to come on through, temperatures there in those 30s on the 70 forecast, that would be uh, something to watch here. And you'll see even those overnight lows Wednesday night, 20. Wind show values might be in the teens across the region. Uh, we'll watch today, you know, a couple more hours to savor the warmth out there. But uh, if you're hoping for uh, some more warmth and sunshine, it's not bad for the weekend. Mid 50s. Right. But uh, when we've been in the 60s and near 70, I kind of want to complain about it a little bit, right? <laughs> well, you forget that we're actually supposed to be in those cooler temperatures and zones. Well, that's right. This weekend is pretty seasonal for us here. We should be in those right. low middle 50s on average. Uh, when we jump to Thanksgiving and hit those 30s, okay, slow down a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> It'll be a jolt to the Right. All right, Jacob.